Okay, welcome. Top, top Hat Smoking Barbecue. What we have for you today is some pork belly. We've got about four pounds, about two pounds a piece. Close to that. We're going to put it on the smoker for about an hour. Heavy smoke. We're going to put it on um, the Silverback Gorilla Grills and then we're going to add the, our smoke pistol to it and really put a lot of smoke for just an hour. Then we're going to put it in a pan with Dr. Pepper, beer, and bourbon. We're going to braise it at 350 for four hours. And we're going to take it out, we're going to put it in the fridge overnight, let all that stuff infuse into the pork belly. And tomorrow we're going to deep fry it and we're going to make pork belly sliders. So what we're going to show you, we're going to get started on what we're going to do. We'll do our normal rib rub. Use heat fries, garlic jalapeno rub, give it a little heat. And then, uh, just lightly, we don't need a whole lot. And then we're going to use the pecan rub, it's all heat fries stuff. We got it off of Killer Hogs website, Malcolm Reed. You guys make some good stuff. And then we're gonna put the honey rub right on top, get it a little sweet. We got the heat, we got a little nut flavor, now we got a little sweet. We're gonna do the same thing to the back side here, and we're gonna get it onto the smoker. And then we're gonna smoke it, like we said, for about an hour on high smoke. We want a lot of smoke. So we'll show you when we're done doing all this and when we get it on the smoker. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're over here at the smoker. We've let this sit for about 20 minutes. Just let the rubs get in. So what we're going to do now is just put transfer it over here. We've got the smoke rolling. We've got it on low heat, about 225. We've got our, our smoke pistol full of pellets and wood chips. It was that extra smoke. And what we're going to do is just let it sit on there for about an hour just to get that smoke and then we'll show you what we're going to do next when we come back so we'll see you in about an hour okay back out here at the smoker it's been on smoke for an hour a little bit over an hour so we're going to take it from the smoker we're going to put it on high heat on the grill for two minutes aside we're going to sear it and then um, so here we go looking pretty good we'll put it on high heat here it's sizzling we're going to sit there for two minutes on each side. We're going to sear it in and then we're going to put it in the pan. So we'll show you that when we get done searing it. So we'll be back okay. in a minute. So we've got the pork belly seared on both sides. So we're going to take it over here and here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to sit it in this pan and we're going to take this Dr. Pepper. Pour the Dr. Pepper in. Call that pretty good. Take these beers. A couple more beers, why not? Everything's better with beer. Alright. About two ounces of bourbon. We got, we're going with Jim Bean, but whatever you like is fine. Now we're going to Wrap it in aluminum foil. We're going to put it on the smoker for four hours at 350. And it's going to braise this. Make it nice and tender. We got the smoker all ready. Heat it up to 350. There you go. And then four hours from now, we'll take it off and show you what we got. Okay, here we go. It's been four hours. We've been braising. So we're going to see what we got. I'm sure it's piping hot. All right. Wow. It's very hot. They're looking pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them out. I'm trying to see how I can grab these without killing myself. We're going to put them over here on this foil. Watch yourself, Jackson. We're going to let it cool down. And then we're going to wrap it and put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow morning, we're, we're going to take it out and we'll show you what we're going to do. So right now, we've braised it for four hours. They're looking great. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, here we are. Next morning, 
Uh, pork belly's been in the fridge all night. They're nice and firm. What we're going to do is we're going to cube them up. We're going to put them on these Hawaiian rolls. We're going to make sliders. So we're going to cut them like that. Look at that. Big fat piece of bacon. About that big a piece. So we're going to cube all these up and then what we're going to do is we're going to throw them right in here and then we're going to put a little bit of rub on them. Give a little extra pop. And then we're going to put them in the deep fryer and we're going to baste these Hawaiian rolls. This is uh, butter and honey. So we're going to do that and then we pull these out. We're going to, this is a maple, got an airplane going over top. This is a maple bourbon honey glaze that we're going to put over top of this when they come out of the deep fryer. So we're going to cut this up and we'll see you when we go to the deep fryer. Okay, here we go. We're going to glaze the inside of these Hawaiian rolls with our honey and butter. And then we're going to stick them on a grill and just lightly grill the outside so it'll have a nice crunch. And we're going to deep fry these and it's only going to take two or three minutes because they're already cooked from what we did last night. So we're just going to deep fry them, get them crunchy. So we'll be back when we get over to the fryer. Okay, we're over here at the deep fryer. We're going to put a couple in here for the video purposes. Then we're going to go ahead and put it down in here. This is our, our mash built butter built butter ball turkey fryer. But it serves a purpose for this. We're going to move to two minutes for right now, and then we'll check them and see if we want it more or less. So. Okay, it's been two minutes. They look pretty damn good. So, they're sizzling. We're going to put them right on our nice Hawaiian roll. Let's go back over to our table here, and we're going to drizzle our... Excuse me, Jackson. We're going to drizzle our bourbon maple honey glaze on it just like that now I'm gonna wait a second because that's piping hot but just come out of the deep fryer and there you go pork belly dr. pepper bourbon beer infused slider it does not suck this is really good you gotta try it. That's fantastic. There you go, guys. Work belly. What more you want? We'll see you next time.